Selena. What's that you're holding? What are you putting in the food? What does it look like I'm doing? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Selena, are you trying to poison me? You are lucky you caught me red handed. You should be resting with your ancestors by now. Selena, you're trying to kill me. Selena, you're trying to kill me. You don't deserve to leave. Selena, what have I done to you? You're trying to poison me. You! I'll deal with you. You tried to kill me. Selena, this is how you pay me back! After everything! You tried to kill me! I'll deal with you, I swear. Anayo! Anayo! Yes, sir! Come here. Yes, sir. Now listen to me. This woman is a witch. Yes, and marry the devil. You must not let her out of this compound. Do you understand me? Lock the gate and hand the key over to me now. What did I say? That I should lock the gate and hand over the key to you. Good, do that now. Yes. You? You're heartless. Selena, you are heartless! You tried to kill me! Please stop ranting rubbish from your mouth! You and your entire generation are heartless! You think I'm not a human being? You think you can just treat me like a piece of trash? You will do nothing! I'll do nothing. Nonsense, foolish man! I'll teach you a lesson. You will never forget in a hurry. Get out! You can't do anything! What is going on here? I mean, what is going on between husband and wife that I have to hear your voices across your streets? Kelvin, I married a witch. This woman is a witch. This woman is a devil! I married a witch! This woman tried to kill me. Jesus. I have everything recorded. This woman tried to poison my food. Your own wife? No, she's not my wife. She's a devil. This woman, I married this bitch! This demonic woman! She has two children for me. Yet, she tried to poison my food. She wants me dead so she can take over my wealth. Yes, for no reason. Listen to me. I mean, could this be a dream or something? I don't believe no, this. No, it's not a dream. I have everything recorded. This woman tried to take my life. Anayo! Come here. Come here. Listen, our lives isn't safe. You must be careful. Watch this woman 24 hours every day. Do you understand me? Your life is not safe. My life is not safe. Do you understand me? Yes, Put an eye on this woman. Yes, and you must not let her leave this compound. What did I say? Good. I put my eyes on her. Good. All right. Hand the key over. This Hand the keys over now. Keep eyes on who? You should be lucky you are still alive. No, I am so pained that I could not achieve my aim. I should have killed your ass! Jesus. No sense! Selena, you. I'll deal with you, I promise you. You cannot do anything, you deserve to die! Has this gotten to this extent? Selena, what is going on? What would you gain if you kill him and turn yourself into a widow is overnight? It, is it not better to be a widow than to be married to this wicked, heartless man? It's better I'm a widow! Useless thing! 
This is more serious Look, than I'm, I am not, I am not happy I could not kill him. I'm so angry with myself. I have been nursing this plan for three good months. I am not happy he caught me. Next time, I will make sure I achieve my aim and I must kill him. If I don't kill him, that means I'm not Selena. Selena, nursing the ambition to kill your own husband for three good months now. Are you watching your words? It is not over yet, oh. He deserves to die and he must die. Jesus. This is more serious than you thought. It was you, Jesus, he wants to have you. Eric! 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 matter is so serious and critical than I thought. In fact, I heard her said that she has been plotting to eliminate you for over three months now. That means God has been saving you all along. Kelvin, can you imagine? Can you imagine that statement? A woman I married, she has crossed the line. Listen, Selena would leave to tell the story of what she has done. I have been sleeping with the devil. I have been dining with the devil. <sighs> How could I be so stupid and ignorant of her wickedness, of her plans, evil plans? I thought she loved me. I said I don't want to say the lie, but he's trying to force me to say that lie that this again. If she had could I can never do that. I will not allow that. That man, that man, I hate that man. Good. I hate that man. Don't allow him to control you. He control Muabi Shiakuma. He can never do that. Let him come. Ha! Eric, see, this matter should not be handled with kids' glove. As a matter of fact, she is still threatening to deal with you any moment from now. And that may happen. So to be on the safe side, I suggest you communicate this case to your parents. In case if anything happens, we have an evidence already. I, I, I'm not willing to lose my best friend. You have a point. Because that girl is evil. That girl is wicked. What if you had arrived here and made me dead? God forbid. God forbid. How did we get here? I don't know. I'm as confused as you are. Hey. No, I first you. Ah, have a son. Ah, Eric. No, I go ahead and pick before. Let's know why he's calling. Hello, Eric. Papa, listen to me. I need you to come here now. I hope there is no problem because you've never sounded like this before. Yes. Papa, listen to me. I need you and Mama and Mama here now. It's okay. Whatever it is, just calm down. I will discuss it with your mother. Papa, this is not a phone conversation, okay? We can't talk about this on the phone. Just come here now. Else! I've heard you. Just control yourself. Please, don't do anything stupid. Are you with me? Papa, except you want to find me dead. Hey, if I was to suggest you shouldn't have instilled fear in them, you know? You just bring them here and then expose the whole thing. Man, I hope Eric and his family is okay. I think there is a problem over there. What we we'll do right now is get up. Let us go inside and dress. We are leaving for the city right now. Are you with me? But in now you should have found out what the problem is first. Don't worry about that. Let us go and dress. When we go to his house, we'll find out. Uh, I don't know. How, how did you guys get to this level of threat? Jesus. Kelvin, I don't know what to say. I'm completely short of words. Eric, this thing will read up on the internet. You don't understand. I'm watching the movie, The Husband Poison, Wife Poison, The Husband. I don't understand. I, I, I'm, trying, life. I'm trying to play around what has happened, but it's so difficult. <sighs> this girl tried to kill me. What's her plan? She's trying to take over my wealth. Hey! Yes! Demon! I have been having sex with the devil herself.
She is so heartless. I can't believe my wife tried to kill me. Kelvin, just like a flash of light, her love for me just disappeared. I am no longer safe in my own house. I am afraid of the woman I married. The woman I once loved. The woman I once cherished. Selena. You see, I'm speaking from my heart. I have searched my soul and there's no going back. It is you I want. It is you I want to spend the rest of my life with. I love you. I love you with everything. I understand how you feel. We're not the same. We are from different backgrounds. We have different personalities. But at this point, it doesn't matter. What matters is, I love you. And all you have to do is say yes. How can a rich man like you propose to me? <laughs> but there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I know. I know you saw me and approached me like every other man would approach a woman. Mm -hmm. But I'm afraid of you. You know you rich men. You like to go into polygamy. I wouldn't want to fall victim like my girlfriend. See? I have this girlfriend. She married a very rich man. After some years, this rich man married two other women, two other wives. Look, I don't want a very rich man or a very handsome man that will be attracted to so many women. My heart is very soft too. I don't want any man to break this soft heart for me. Please, my heart is fragile, extremely fragile. Are you done? <laughs> Selena, you have nothing to worry about. I am... I'm a good man. I do not have polygamy in my family line. My grandfather was not polygamous in nature. My father didn't have two or three wives. So why should I? Besides, listen. I love you. I believe in one man and one wife. I don't have the intention to, you know, marry so many wives. I'm comfortable with you. Besides, I want to make you happy. I want to love you. I want to have kids with you. All you have to do is say yes. Okay. Are you sure you'll be contented with me whether we have or not? Are you sure? All right, Selena, right now I feel insulted. Listen, the goal is to take care of you. I have more than enough to give you what you want. I want to put you on a different pedestal. Selena, I want to make you happy. I want to make you the envy 
of other women. I love you so much. I want you in my life. Please, will you marry me? You still haven't answered my question. You see, I came very prepared. That's a diamond ring. And there's more where that came from. All you have to do is say yes. Yes. Thank you. You see, where I'm from, we don't kneel to propose to women. We just spoil them with our wealth. We just spoil them with money. I know you're probably used to seeing a lot of men kneel before other women to propose to them. But I have a different mission. And my mission is to love you, protect you, provide for you, and give you everything you want. Thank you. Thank you. So let's toast. What are we toasting to? To love? To long life. To a happy family. To prosperity. To more money. To enjoyable marriage with no stress. <sighs> to no polygamy. Oh yeah, no polygamy. Tell me, when was the last time you changed your hair? Three weeks. That's a very long time. You need a new one. love of my life. I never knew I married the devil herself. How could she? I did everything for her. She tried to kill me. <sighs> Listen, Kelvin. I won't say anything until my parents get here. Eric, you know, when things as this happens, too many things comes to mind. Too many questions comes up. Especially considering in a, a perfect gentleman as you with this kind of appearance, you know, one wouldn't believe you could do anything wrong. Nevertheless, I understand how you you feel the pains you're going through. Haven't said what you said. And anyone in your shoes will equally feel the same way, you know, and even much more. The baffling thing here is that she's not being remorseful over the threat. Rather, she's busy issuing more and more threats that never appeared to be made threat. So, 
I, it's it's scaring me to a great extent. And I think something needs to be done if you haven't done anything to her. But then uh, let me ask you, as my boss and friend, have you in any way pushed her to the wall? Have you in any way wronged her? Because for someone's wife to go this extreme, I mean, there may have been something beyond words that is behind it. So tell me, so that we'll know how we can handle it. Karen, what could I possibly do to warrant her trying to kill me? No, tell me. I do everything for her. I pay the children's school fees. I send money to her parents regularly. I give her pocket money. I invest in some of her businesses. I clothe her. I, I do virtually everything for her. What else does she want? Kelvin, I am as confused as you are right now. Like, this woman tried to kill me. Obviously to take my wealth. Yeah. Because there's nothing else. Tell me what's her reason. Hmm. What's her reason for trying to kill me? You walk down the stairs and you see your wife trying to poison your food. <gasps> Isn't that madness? This, thing is, it's, this is more than mad. It sounded somehow to my ears. Hey! Listen, I'm no longer safe in my own house. I'm no longer safe in my own house. <sighs> what kind of a thing is this? Kelvin. You, you can imagine. This is the evidence. You kidding me? If you hadn't seen this, that means this is how you would have ended. I would have just died without any trace of my death. Go for me. Can you imagine? Go for me, That means if you had not seen this, this is how you would have ended. I would have died without anyone Sir? knowing that she. Sir, you're... Sir? Your wife's mother is at the gate. Can I open the gate for her? Oh, yeah. Um. <sighs> Here we go. Open the gate. Please. Eric, I am scared. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I mean, something must be done. Her mother is here. We need to see her. Okay. Where is that bully of a man? Where is he? Am I gone? Come out here. Uh, what is good about Mama. the afternoon? Come here. Mama. So, you beat up my daughter, Ewa. What gave you the impetus to beat up my daughter the way you did? Mama, what nonsense is this? Uh, which nonsense? Mama, why are you holding my shirt? Uh -huh. Oh, you're calling it nonsense. You beat up my daughter and you expect me to leave you. Mama, Mama listen to me. Listen I, to who? I expect you to ask questions. I expect you to caution your daughter. Uh -huh. Not holding my why shirt. Why will I question my daughter? Question my daughter for what? Is she your wife or your maid or your slave? I'm asking you. Mama. Is my daughter your wife or Mama, your slave? I need you to investigate let, your daughter. Stop let, coming let here to write. Let me tell you. If you know the way you beat up my daughter, I want you to do that to me now. Mama, yeah, now. Mama, Mama, I don't. Uh, Eric, you have to kill Mama, me. Mama, listen to me. Eric, I don't you. expect this from you. Uh -huh. I expect you to investigate your daughter and not come in here to rant unnecessarily. Oh, I'm ranting. Yes. I can see that you've lost respect for your elder. Eric. You have to kill me today. Mama, Mama. You see now. Please. Kill me. Mama, you have to you leave me alone. Me. Else what? Eric. Leave me the hell alone. What will you do if she does not leave your shirt? Yes. Animal, what will you do to her? What sense? Selena, you're shameless. Eh? You're an idiot. Eh? Do you know that? What you're shameless. In my front. 
You have in no remorse presence. in you. Hey! You're not sorry for what you have done. Oh, Eric. Mama, what, Eric. what you're doing is not... I've, I can eh? see that you've lost respect. Totally. For elders. Now, Mama. you will kill me the way you beat, beat, beat up my daughter. Beat me Mama, if you don't leave me, I'll face beat, you squarely. You'll face me squarely? Yes. you face me squarely? I'll sue you for okay. trespass. Okay, okay, kill me now. Mama, please. Hey, Mama, I'll Mama. sue you for assault. Yes. You sue me. Yes. Mind up, mind up. 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 Mind up, mind what is the problem? Papa, go right Papa. Okay. Uh, okay ask these women okay. to leave my house right now. Yes, 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 yes. I am here and I am eh? here. Whatever I can. Wait, so Eric, leave where? I should leave your house. Okay. My daughter okay. should leave your house. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What is your problem? My brother, whatever the problem is. Get going to solve it. Go out and make it. I'm going to 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 make it. Okay, whatever it is, it's okay. Your son will kill me today. No, you see what that. it did to my daughter? I said it's okay. I am here. Who is it? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What is the problem? What is it? Oh, okay. You are still asking questions. Leave me alone. You are still asking questions. Emma, you said we will settle it and make it. Okay, let's settle it. Let's settle it and make it. Let's settle it and make it. It is okay. Can you hear me? Eric, what is the problem? Because I don't like the embarrassment outside. What is it that might have transpired between you and your wife to make you fight with her? Papa, point of correction. This thing here is not my wife. She can never be my wife. She is a witch. Papa, I have been sleeping with the devil herself. If yes. I'm a witch, then you are a wizard. Yes. Go punish you there! Yes. Yes. Enough, Selena! You don't talk <laughs> Papa, hmm? I am totally short of words. <laughs> I'll cut a long story short. Papa had gotten ready to go to work. I was coming down the stairs to have breakfast. Behold, I saw my so called wife, who I have been married to for seven years. We have two lovely children together. Papa, Selena tried to poison my food. What? I confronted her and she ran away. This girl is a witch. This girl tried to kill me for no reason. A man you have kids with you try to kill me what for to take my property what do you really want kevin this bastard tried to take my life to make matters worse she called her mother i expected this woman to caution her daughter and tell her she's done something wrong. The reverse is the case. She, she attacked me. I almost tore my shirt. She literally fought me, Papa. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the family I married into? I'll deal with you. Selena, tell me that Eric is lying. Did you try to poison and kill your own husband? Papa, he is saying the truth. I wanted him dead because this idiot here is very heartless and wicked. I see him as my husband, but he doesn't see me as his wife. Oh. He's a cheat and a heartbreaker. I have been through hell because of him. No sense. Mama, I can't play with something as serious as this. I'm telling you the gospel truth. I am very, very surprised. This girl tried to kill me. You tried to destroy everything. You tried to take everything away from me. God has caught you. You have come to the end of the road. I swear to God, I will deal with you. Bastard. No, ma. Did you hear your daughter claim that he tried to 
killed a man. She had two kids. Why? What an egg did she do that? Why? Papa! Papa! Any woman in my shoes will do the same thing. Any woman in my shoes will kill this idiot! Before we got married, Eric promised me heaven. Eric said he was not going to go into polygamy. He tortured me, Papa. I went through hell because of this idiot you see here. Hi. I always cooked for Eric. I made delicious meals for him. I gave him different styles. There is no style of sex I did not give to Eric. I gave him dog style, I gave him goat style. Eric will say, Selena, raise your leg up. Oh, I'll raise my leg up. Oh. Eric will say, Selena, bend you. I will bend like a dog. There is nothing I did not do for Eric. Eric will tell me, do like a snake. I will bring my tongue up and start licking, or licking him all over his body. Papa, hi. Because of this man, I started watching adult films. So I could learn really stars just to please him. What did he used to pay me back? He cheated on me. As we speak, Eric is secretly married to another woman. And the woman is six months pregnant for him. Hi, hi. After everything I did for him, what do men really want, Papa? What do they want? So, I was afraid him and that his useless wife might kick me out of my matrimonial home. That's why I decided to kill him. And I am pained I could not achieve my aim. I am seriously pained, Papa. Can you imagine what you, what you, what you say? You can't even control your tongue. You can't even control your mouth. Look so, at your daughter. You mean your husband here got married to another woman without your notice? Yes, Mama. They are by cheating on you. I bank it. Have you heard her? Did you hear her now? Papa, you have heard from the horse's mouth. She tried to kill me. Listen, don't listen to all those cough and boo stories she's telling you. Mm -hmm. Papa, Papa, you have heard from the horse's mouth. Mama, you have heard from the horse's mouth. Papa, I'm innocent. In fact, you're shameless. You're crazy. Oh, you're comfortable telling my parents about our bedroom affairs. Tell them the truth. Tell them how you initiated the sex styles. No, tell them. Oh, he doesn't want me to raise my leg up. Oh, he asked me to raise my leg up. He wants me to bend like a goat. Did you tell them you enjoyed? Did you tell them how you tried to kill me because you wanted me to have sex with you? Oh, please, you're not sweet. I never enjoyed you. I was just pretending. Okay, I'm not sweet. I told you that bitter. You're, you're like bitter leaf. Okay, oh, the, you know, she's more tighter than you. Oh, yes. she's tighter than me. She's tighter than I will deal with you. you I will show you, Pepe. You, no, no, no. She, why you were screaming? You did not know I was tight. You, you, now you are changing your mind. Tighter than you. I'm thinking. No, you see, man. I'm thinking. No, you see, man. I'm thinking. 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 In my presence, Selena, you are like shouting. But this woman is, 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 is. I said, is a no. Lunatic. Is a no. Is a no. Because it's not going to be easy. Eric, I advised you. I warned you, didn't I? Why? Papa, Eric, my mind is made up. I'm not going back. I'm taking another wife. Papa, look at me. I'm a young man. Okay, I'm supposed to enjoy my marriage, but she makes life hard for me. She makes things look like I live in the village. Papa, I need to explore. I need to enjoy my marriage. Papa, she's a village girl. She doesn't know anything. It's hard to connect with her. Papa, she has mouth odor. I try to kiss her and I have spit all over my mouth. Papa, I'm tired. Eric. Just take it easy. I understand you perfectly well. Just calm down. I am your father. I'm telling you the truth. Now listen, it is not a taboo for you to take a second wife. But what I'm saying is that you have to discuss it with your wife. Let us see her take. Papa, there's no point to do that. There's no point. Uh, her opinion is not important to me. It's my decision and... I don't think it's right for me to tell her. Even at that, I still suggest you discuss it with her. 
It is very important. Papa, if you insist, I will. But then I have to find time to do it because I'm very busy now. Please do because I don't want her to feel that she's being stabbed at the back. You know, women, Eric, listen, listen attentively. I'm talking to you like a father and I am your father. Women are funny at times. Eric, you don't understand me. Women are funny. Papa, I, I hear you. But if you put myself in your shoes, you'll understand, Papa. That girl, I don't know what I saw in her in the first place. She's just a village girl. I don't know. Maybe I was, I was charmed or something. It's okay, son. Calm down. Just calm down. Calm down. Huh? Just do as I say. I'll guard you, Papa. Thank you. Did you tell them about it? Anyway, that's my point. Selling them. But it's not enough reason for me to try to kill my own son. He is a man and can marry as many wives as possible. That's the way that men are pulling a massive nature. You should have understood that. You know, what are you even saying? I'm saying sense. I'm talking sense. Yes. Look at what you're saying. Don't you know the level of a betrayal that is. Mm. Eh? If I were to be my daughter, I would do the same. Do you know the kind of pains a woman goes through when she finds out that her husband is dating another woman? Not to talk of secretly married to another woman with six months pregnancy. Eric, do you want to kill my daughter for me? Eh? Why would you men like to treat women like a piece of trash? Is it not the same blood that runs in your veins that equally runs in women? Eh? So you decided to wicked my daughter and subjected her into this emotional torture? Hi! You are a very wicked man. You are wicked, Eric. You are wicked. No problem. Chioma, you are a woman here. Let me ask you. If you were to be my daughter, wouldn't you do the same? Mama, please calm down. I understand your daughter's pain here. Actually, what my son did was absolutely wrong. By getting married to another woman without telling his wife, a woman that cooks his food, a woman that have your life at the tip of her fingers, a woman that have to kiss two beautiful kids for you. No woman will tolerate that. It's all the same. Selena, you shouldn't have taken laws into your hands. You should have looked for another means to correct that mistake instead of taking laws into her hand. Had it been he killed my son, do you think she would go scot free? Eric dealt with me. Immediately I discovered he was married to another woman. I had to act fast. I had to put my heart behind my back. Because he tortured me, I had to deal with him for traumatizing me emotionally. Hi. Eric, you heard what you said. What do you have to say? I... Hey, you are now become, you are now become a, 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 a stammerer. You have become a stammerer. What do you have in your defense? Tell me. What are you trying to say? I, 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 I. Say it! Let me hear. Um, Papa, I'm not here to apportion blames. I've accepted my mistake. But the truth is, I was looking for the right time to, you know, tell her the truth. I had no idea she found out already. So. You see? You are looking for the right time. Can you hear yourself talk? You are preparing to tell your wife. You are looking for the right time to tell your wife. After how many months? Eh? You are preparing for how many months? Your second wife is six months pregnant. In law, you have heard your son. You heard your son. He's getting ready to tell his wife. Eh? Anyway, no problem. I already know. This is a calculated plan to kill my daughter for me, but it will never happen. It will never happen. Yes, it can happen. I won't allow it to happen. Eh? Eric, you've always known me as an honest and straight talking guy. I have to be honest with you. This is wrong and totally out of place. It is only ideal if you had informed your wife before bringing in the second lady. 
Yeah. So you should be apologizing. Eric, my son, what you did was wrong. You have to apologize to her. Huh? No. Chamamba. Apology is not necessary again here. My daughter will live with me first thing tomorrow morning with her kids. Yes. Let Eric stay with his second wife. No problem. We are living here first thing tomorrow morning. Before they kill my daughter for me. Because her life is at stake here. They will kill her. Eh? Ne. Tomorrow morning we are leaving this place. It's not okay. It's not Eric, my son. You are wrong. I must tell you the truth as your father. I said men are polygamous in nature just to defend it in their presence. It really hurt that girl. I have not said that she accepted your marriage proposal because she doesn't like polygamy. You see, she almost killed you. It's not every woman that will accept such. Eric, my son, like your father said, what you did was wrong. It's painful. No woman can tolerate such humiliation. Even me, your mom. Had it been your dad handled me like this, I wouldn't have been here by now. It hurts a lot, my son. Only with the Mama. Yeah, Papa. You have spoken well. I accept. I am wrong. But the truth is, I have made the mistake already. And I wish I can change things, but I can't. At this point, I can't go back. Eric, the egg has already been broken. There is nothing we can do about it. Let us look for a solution and a way forward. Here is my son. Mama. Just like your father said, you have to go and apologize to the mom. She's the only one that can calm the heart of her daughter, which is he very heavy now. Please, my son, you go on. Eric, your mother is right. She's the only one that can convince her daughter to forgive you. She's the one holding the knife. Aliyah, can you do that, my son? I hear you, Papa. That's my son. No. It's okay, huh? It's okay. <sighs> Selena, my daughter, I want you to tell me the truth. Are you sure that your husband is secretly married to another woman? Or you're just exaggerating? Because I know how we women used to conclude words out of suspicion. Mama, this is not a matter of suspicious. I know what I'm saying. I know what I saw. My husband has another wife outside this house. As a matter of fact, he is running two homes respectively. I am 100% sure of that. How did you find out if you are so sure about it? Mama, this is how it happened. seen it all for yourself. You can see I'm not lying. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Why would Eric do this to me? What have I done to deserve this? Eric has broken my heart. Yes. That very day, I saw the both of them. I recorded it on my phone. Mama, look at the video. Hey! Hey! Your husband is really a he-goat. Hey! Listen, my daughter. 
Under no circumstances must you listen to their plead. Are you hearing me? This is a deliberate act just to cause you pain and trauma. Kai! Oh, Selena, first thing tomorrow morning, we are leaving this house. Because your life is at stake here. Are you hearing me? That second wife can go any length to harm you. Because you are already posing a threat to her life. So she can equally do anything to make sure she removes you out of this planet Earth. So we are leaving here tomorrow morning. Go in there, pack your things. We must leave until your so-called husband comes back to his senses. Are you hearing me? Stop crying. Stop crying, my daughter. I am here for you. I am your mother. Okay? Yes, I will mama. not let you down. Pack your things. We are leaving. Hmm? Biko, Fichanya. Fichanya, stop crying. Oh, no. Stop crying. I'm here for you. Hi. 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 Eric. Eric, in Gimwa. Okay. What is it, Eric? What can I do for you again? I'm here to apologize. I messed up. I was wrong. I'm so ashamed of myself. I don't know what came over me. It was a work of the devil. Mama, I know you hate me so much right now, but please, forgive me. I'm truly sorry. Does this change anything? Does this change the fact that she is not pregnant for you? Or that uh, uh, you've not paid her bright price? As you can see, Eric, it doesn't change anything. Yes. Now I know that my daughter got married to a he goat. Mama, I accept the new title. I'm a he goat. No doubt. But I'm changed. Forgive me. To err is human, but to forgive is divine. Please. I'm sorry for everything. I know I caused your daughter pain. I broke her heart. I did her bad. But Mama, the truth is I've realized my mistakes and I'm ready to change. Please, forgive me. Please, Mama. Eric, I can't. Yes. I wish I can, but I can't. As you can see, my hands are tied at the moment. Because this your apology is rather coming too late and can't yield any fruit. It can't yield any fruit because I've already made up my mind to go with my daughter tomorrow morning. Mama, please change your mind. Change which mind? Mama, please change your mind. No. Kindly speak to your daughter on my behalf. I know I've done, I've done the unthinkable. But please, Mama, I'm sorry. I promise it will never happen again. I give you my word. It will never happen again. Mama, please. Eric. Mama. Why do you have to betray the love that we have? Why do you have to let me down like this? I know that I love you I love you, I love you And I can't live without you Got your coat According to your side Got your coat 
according to your side But what it means right now That we will be apart from each other Cause I cannot do this My love I'm so hard I feel so ashamed of myself Kneeling before you But please forgive me I know I promised I'll never hurt you I also promised Not to go into polygamy But honestly speaking I don't know what came over me You don't know what came over you But you went ahead to pay her bright price It was a devil It wasn't me I swear It was a devil that pushed me Please forgive me Please, if not for anything in the world, think about the good times we spent together. Uh huh. Hey. Turn around. So show hey. me how you. Show me hey. how you do it. Hey. Uh huh. Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 Give me that one. Hmm. Hey. Who taught us how to do this? She left it for me. From you. Hey. Are you serious? Give it to me. Give it to mommy. Give it to me. Give it to me. Where's your brother? Go and call him. I'm waiting. Sharon reminds me of you, you know that? You're just telling me that. <laughs> Move. You know, I I feel very blessed to have you as my wife. I also feel blessed to have you as my husband. You're the best thing that has ever happened to me. I love you so much. I love you too. You know, I asked Sharon to go upstairs because I miss you and I want to be with you. I know. <laughs> so tell me, do you miss me? Mm hmm How much? Every time. What else do you miss? I miss the way you give it to me so hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I didn't see that coming. That's some weird. So what should we do? Let's go and do it upstairs <laughs> right away. Okay, but um, you know, Junior is sleeping, so we don't have to wake him up. Okay. You know, sometimes it can be really loud. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go upstairs. Let's just go. Check it out. Remember the good times we had together. Yet you went ahead to cheat on me with another woman. Why do you have to Babe, it wasn't me. I was under his spell. I swear. Why do you have to I, I just realized I messed up. Let me down like this. It wasn't me. I, something was controlling me. Please forgive me, I'm sorry. You're sorry for what? I should forgive you? Yes. So you can keep both women? So you can be making love to the both of us? Today you sleep with her, tomorrow you sleep with me. So you can now pass infections from her to me? Really? Well, I'm sorry, I'm not ready to share my mind with another woman, and that's a period. Babe, I know I look very disgusting to you right now. But don't forget, I've been a good man to you. In fact, what we share is the envy of so many people. They want to be like us. Think about that. Besides, I don't want to lose you and my kids. Forgive me. I promise it will never happen again. I'll never hurt you again, please. You keep remembering the good times we had together. 
Why then did you cheat on me with another woman? Why did you go into a secret marriage? What do men really want, Eric? After everything I suffered because of you, I went into labor and had our kids. For nine good months, I was pregnant. I had kids for you, Eric. You disrespected all that. You threw all that away and cheated on me. Maybe I am no longer attractive because I give birth to children for you. That's why you cheated on me. I wouldn't know. But let me ask you this question, Eric. If really it was a mistake, why did you pay her bride price? Baby, thank you very much for this question. Now pay attention so I can explain to you. It wasn't me who paid the bride price. It was the devil. Yes, it wasn't me. I know I physically paid it. But it was the devil that controlled me to do it. The spiritual controls the physical, babe. I'll tell you a story. And please, don't look at me like a stupid person. The story sounds really, really stupid. But think about how logic it is. Remember Jonah in the Bible? He refused to go to Nineveh to preach the gospel. And God commanded a big fish to swallow him. Baby, if I was Jonah and I came back home to you after three days and told you that I was swallowed by a fish, would you believe me? You wouldn't believe me. You would think I probably went to sleep with another woman for three days. But the truth remains that Jonah was swallowed by a fish. So sometimes these things happen and you can't control it. I was controlled by the devil to get her pregnant. But I'm sorry. I completely... Enough of your stories, please. Right now, this scene is unpardonable. Just get out. Baby, I love you. Get out and leave me alone, please. Get out. Babe, it wasn't me, it's the devil. But this is me now. Asking for your forgiveness, babe. Please. I don't want to lose you and my kids. Babe. Do I really need to leave my husband's house? Yes. You need to leave here now. Because your life is at stake here. A plan that has yielded a six months pregnancy and the bride price that has been paid is not a plan of today. You are no more safe here. Eric may team up with that his second wife and kill you. You are the only one I have. Yes, I wouldn't want them to kill you for me. Let us go. Let us go immediately. Let's go. Let's leave. I know I messed up, but please, I'm sorry. Babe, please, don't do this to me. You can't leave me. If you leave me, I'll die. I love you, I love the kids. Don't do this now, please. I know I messed up, but I'm sorry. It is too late. It is too late to turn back the hands of the clock. Please leave me. Selena, Selena. Listen, please. listen, Eric. You see how this is your drama? It won't need any fruit. Come and open this gate. We are leaving this compound now. 
Papa, help me talk to Papa, please. Eric. Help me talk to them. Help me talk to them. Eric, what is it? To talk, talk, talk to her. She wants to leave. Why? Me and Mua. Hold on. Huh? You're asking me please what? Don't, don't. Tell please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please Over between us. Selena, I know I messed Let up. me go. I love you. Tell yourself. We are leaving. Go. Back. Open this gate. Everybody leave me alone. Don't die if you leave me. Don't you understand? Please. Selina! Selina! Tell your son to open the gate for us. We are leaving. Come, come, I told you. Please I told you. Don't do this. So don't do what? Me and my daughter. Forgive him. If not for anything, for the sake of these kids, their future is very important. And you know it. Be gone, Mom. Bonara. Be gone. Please. Be gone. Come, let's go. What Mama, what do you mean? Huh? You're trying to make this worse. I'm trying to talk to her. But you, you won't let me be. Please. Talk to her about what? When you were beating her up, you didn't remember to talk to her. Mama, me. Can, you, can you leave the past in the past? Open this case. Sel Selena, Selena, my daughter, if there is no sin, there will be no forgiveness. Please find a place in your heart to forgive your husband. We will make it up. Please. You are my daughter. I love you. And I know your husband still loves you. It's okay. Ogon, please talk to my me. daughter. We will make it. Listen, Ogon, stop talking. My daughter easy. is done with this marriage. Ogon, take it easy. Take no, no, easy. no, 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 no. Take, take what is easy. Daughter. The torture is too much on my daughter. Please, my kids. Mama, these kids are mine. Leave them. These kids are just my kids. They're my kids. It's okay. Ogon, why? It's okay. Ogon, it's okay. Ogon, are you are you are trying to steal my kids? Are you 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 trying to steal I, I said I'm sorry. I'll never cheat on you again. I promise you on my life. I love you and I love my kids. You can't leave me. If you leave me, I'll die. Die? Did you hear him? You want to die? Mm. It's all right. Mm. When you were beating her up, you didn't remember to die. It's okay, Nelly. Let's it's go not in. that you oh, remember to die. Go in. Like you die. Adam, hey, hey. <laughs> then. You try to love that we have. It's okay, let us go in. It's okay. It's okay, let's go in. Let me down like this. I know that I love you. I love you, I love you. And I can live without you. Got your coat. According to your side. Got your goal According to your side But what it means right now that we Hey listen, it's okay Don't do this to me I can't stand to see you cry You're breaking my heart Please I'm very sorry, I I'm just a he goat Listen, just like my mother told you, I'm ready to make it up to you. But forgive me, please. Do you ever think you can make it up to me? Yes. Eric, you know I have always loved you. Yes. And I still do. I know. If you must make it up to me, there are some conditions you must adhere to. I'm ready to do anything to to be with you and my children. I can't, I can't, I can't lose you. I can't lose my kids. I'll die. I'll just die. Withdraw the bride price you paid on her. Huh? Yes. Let her know that you take care of her child when she gives birth. And then you pay her off and take the child. That's the only way you can make it up to me. That's the only way this deep wound in me can be healed. Baby, isn't there other options? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's not the perfect thing, don't do it. Don't do it. You promise to love someone, you get married.
Baby, you look so moody. What's the problem? Baby, can you talk to me? You're getting me worried. Amber. There's a lot I need to get off my chest. I'm afraid I don't know how to tell you. You don't know how to tell me what? Baby, talk to me. What is the problem? Are you okay? Baby, can you talk to me? You're getting me worried. Annabelle, I just realized I'm still in love with my wife. She knows everything about us. She's been threatening to take my kids away from me. Is that why you've been with me? But baby, you promised me you were going to take care of that, right? stop seeing each other. We need to stop this entire relationship. I want out. What? Yeah. My wife is threatening to take my kids away from me and I don't want that to happen. Eric, please tell me this is a joke. Just tell me you're trying to play a prank on me. And if it's a joke, you have to stop it because it's not funny. I'm serious. I want out. I... I want to retrieve the bright price paid on your head. Eric, you want to do what? I want it returned, a bright price. After all the promises you made to me? Eric, how do you expect me and my family to bear the shame? Listen, I have plans for you, okay? I'm not just leaving you behind. I want to take care of you. I'll take care of the child after he or she is born and I'll pay you off I don't need to do it! I don't know what I've said! Do I look like one of those adults you picked from the street? Eric, don't dare me, okay? Don't! How can you suddenly change like a chameleon? You came to me for love. Eric, you want to send me away with this pregnancy? You want to put my family in shame? All my entire community was there the day you came to pay my bride price. Don't forget that! Eric. Don't start a battle you can't finish. Eric, if you do this to me, I will hurt you.
Hi, what's up? You don't look fine. <coughs> what's eating you up? Kill him. My life is shattered like a broken mirror. My blood pressure is not even helping matters. Eric, please don't even encourage that. It's a dangerous experience to have. High blood pressure? Guy, man up and tell me what's the problem? What's going on? Kelvin, I want to make it up to my wife. I want my family back. Selena promised to forgive me on the condition that I cease to see Annabelle. In fact, I must retrieve the bright price paid on her head. But unfortunately for me, Annabelle is threatening to kill me, to destroy my entire family if I do what Selena wants. Jesus. Right now, I'm in between the devil and the deep blue sea. I'm <sighs> confused. Eric, this is serious. And at the same time, difficult. I, I, I remember giving you my piece of advice never to tow this land. But you never listened. You never took my piece of advice serious. You were blinded. You lost focus. But what were you even looking for in another woman that your wife doesn't have? The beautiful woman. Look at how beautiful your woman is. She is tall, classy, intelligent. She has it all. Guy, you messed up. You, you, you really messed up. Look at what you've brought upon yourself. And what's that? Kelvin, I need a second wife. Are you okay? What? I mean, are you are you okay? Like, I mean, Did you I, hear what you just said? I'm perfectly fine, bro. You need a second wife? Yeah. Are you sure you're normal? Listen to me, my wife is no longer exciting to me. All right? She's no, I, I need something to spice up my life, bro. I've worked hard enough. I make money. I, I need to spice up my life. I need adventure. Eric, come on. These things are not reasons for you to start thinking of bringing in another wife into your life. I, are you done with the first one? Let alone bringing in a second wife. Kelvin, you don't understand. When I'm kissing my wife, I have spit all over my face. What nonsense is that? Have you tried to make her the woman of your dream? Oh, I mean, Jesus Christ. What, what have you done? Have every you... day, every day, every day, missionary style, mission... What am I, Reverend Father? What nonsense is this now? She's just a village girl, a local girl. Come on, guy, listen to yourself. This mission, this decision of yours is a very dangerous one. And I will not advise you to... If... Get into the car, I'll tell you more. Listen, I'm tired. I need someone sweet, someone classy, you know? Someone who... Bro, get into the car, let you know, man. Guys, yeah, don't, don't, don't think, don't even say this again, please. This mountain you want to climb. I want to climb it, bro. Let ah, me climb it. I'm, I'm not going to be part of it. I, I knew this whole thing was going to happen. It's, it's as if I knew. I should have listened to you, bro. Kelvin, I should have listened to you. But right now, I can't turn back the hands of a ticking clock. I don't know what the hell is wrong with me. Too many things. What was I thinking? I, I have a problem, man. Like, I think I need to go for a deliverance or something. I have a problem with beautiful women. Yeah. Maybe I need to cut off my penis or something. I don't know. Look, look at problem every now and then. Eh? Maybe that's that's the best solution. Just just cut that thing off, man, and and, and rest. Yes. Really. 
If not, what else? Since you couldn't respect your wife, you couldn't respect yourself and respect that and dangling in between your legs. Wait, wait, like, seriously, Kelvin? You want you want me to cut off my penis? Because I said it out and you want me to do that? So if I get a knife down to cut off my penis, you're going to let me do it? It led you into this big shit. Probably if you never had it, you, you may have... What kind of, of friend mind. are you, bro? I'm a good one. I'm just telling you the truth. So I should cut off my penis? All right, then get a knife so I can cut off my penis. I won't be the one to cut it off. Do it yourself. Yeah, this guy, you're crazy. Listen, this is not a laughing matter. I'm, I'm tired of everyone. I'm laughing. Why do you have to Let me down like this I know that I love you I love you, I love you And I can't live without you Caught your coat According to your side I thought this matter has been resolved. <sighs> Mama, Annabelle is threatening to hurt me if I take back the bride price. I know this is not going to be easy because she's already pregnant for you. Mama, but she can remarry after I take my child. Now, nothing is impossible in this act. The only thing that cannot be fixed is death. Mm. As for Annabelle, don't worry. We will handle her. Papa, honestly speaking, I want us to sort things out so she can stay away from me. Don't bother yourself. I said you should not bother yourself. I alone can even handle her. She cannot do anything. I just, I just want her out of my life, honestly. My, my only concern here is that she's threatening to hurt our son. I don't want anything to happen to my son. No, no, don't worry. I said you should not worry. See, let me tell you something. A woman in anger can say anything. But as for hurting my own son, she cannot do anything. Ah, uh -uh. Eric, what? don't be afraid. What will happen to you? You are the son of a liar. You are also a liar. What will happen? I don't want anything to happen to my son. Is it there, Jebu? Who is Annabelle? Onye ba Annabelle. Ara, 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 ara. We try to love that we are Why do you have to Let me down like this I know that I love you I love you, I love you And I can't live without you Caught your cold According to your side Cut your goal According to your side Babe, what is it now? What's, what's wrong? You've been moody all day. Can you just cheer up? Can you be flexible? Don't you miss me? Come on! Baby. Yeah? This pregnancy is two months already. And you're not saying anything about it. <sighs> Babe, listen, it's not like I don't want to say anything, it's, uh, I've just been thinking, I've been, I've been thinking, I don't know, uh, I just... Thinking about what? You're supposed to make out time and see my people, so you can do the needful. 
that's true but i don't know how to tell you this i've been finding i've been searching for the right time to say this but i don't know how to tell you baby what is it you've been thinking about what annabelle i'm a married man jesus what? Epic, you're married and you never told me about it. Until I got pregnant. Uh, babe, listen, it's, it's not what you think. Epic, no. Listen, babe. Epic! Okay, I, I, I didn't want to tell you because if I told you, you'd probably leave me or end the relationship. I, I was scared to lose you, don't you understand? This is wickedness. How can you do this to me? I, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to hurt you. But I love you so much and I don't want to lose you. That's why I didn't tell you. Now I get it. This explains the reason why I call you most times at night. And you don't take my calls. Hey, come on, don't say that. Don't say that. Eric, you're making a fool out of me, right? I am not making a fool out of you. Please. I love you so much. Sometimes you need to protect what you love. And by protecting you, I didn't want to tell you because if I had told you, I'd lose you. I don't want to lose you. I love you so much. Eric, you call this protection? I was protecting what we share. Okay, tell me. How do you want us to go about it? Because I am confused right now. Babe, you don't have to be confused, all right? There's always a way out. Listen to me. I'm married, yeah, but I don't love my wife anymore. It's as simple as that. It is you I want. It is you I want to be with. Okay? I want to make you my second wife. You keep the child and we live happily ever after. Eric, no. I can't be a second wife. What do you mean by that? You know what? I'm going to get rid of this baby. No, you can't do that. Yes, that is no, what I will no, do! No, listen to me. You can't kill my baby. That's impossible. That's not acceptable. Do you understand me? Okay? Listen to me. We have to find a way out of this. And the only way out is to get married. I'll make you my second wife. I'll take care of you. I'll take care of my child. And everybody's going to be fine. Baby, get out! Babe, besides, you can't... It's a sin to... to get rid of... a poor baby's core. for you to come back after my emotions you've allowed your wild imagination to be cloud your sense of reasoning eric you can't put me in this pain and remain the same Eric, it shall never be well with you. Got your goal. I got into your side. But what it means right now that we will be apart from each other. Cause I cannot do this. So, babe, I was going to say that I have retrieved. Um, the bright price paid on Annabelle's head. Um, as we speak, she has ceased to be my wife. And uh, I have blocked her number. She can't reach me anymore. I have no business with her anymore. It's just you and I. One man, one wife. Yeah. Thank you for checking her out of your life. I love you so much. I love you too. I'll do anything for you. 
Same here. Oh. I love you, baby. I love you. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Annabelle. What the hell are you doing here? Who let you in? Are you deaf? Can't you hear him? What are you doing in my matrimonial home? I thought you've been hiding your ugly face all this while. Why have you decided to show your face? Here. I saw her. Who was here? Annabelle. She was holding a knife. Her eyes. Her eyes was filled with tears. She wanted to kill me. In fact, she came to kill me. Baby, you just had a nightmare. You just had a dream. It's not a nightmare. I know what I saw. She looked very desperate and determined. She wants to kill me so she can have you all to herself. I need to pray. Baby, no, 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 I need to pray. I need to pray. Baby, it's okay. It's, it's not real. Dreams are not real. Oh, Come on, Jesus. I commit myself to you. I'm going to give my life. I'm going to give them the blood of Jesus. Not even for me, because you want to trust me in the name of Jesus. Let me do it. If it's a wrong ask on earth, you will do it for us in heaven. Every Annabelle in my life, I come against for the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Kelvin. I'm afraid something bad might happen to me and my wife. If I retrieve the bride prize. My wife had a terrible dream. Annabelle tried to stab her in that dream. Um, Derek, I, I can't... Um, I, I may not be able to say there is a secret or evil plan here or not, but I can categorically tell you that there will be no such thing if things are done the way they should. Kelvin, you don't understand. The dream was so real. I don't want it to become reality. In other words, are you are you are you having a double mind? Like, are you considering taking Annabelle? I I didn't say that, but I love my wife. I I I I, I just want to make my wife happy. My first wife, yeah, because as it stands, I have two wives now. That makes reasonable sense. Eric, you have to be a man at this point. You see? The decision that you have taken to end your relationship with Annabelle for the peace of your first family, it's what is paramount. And that decision is what you need to stand by right now. What makes a man is the ability to take a decision and stand by it in situations as these, no matter what may happen. So, take a decision and stand by it, and that's all. Yeah, you're right, but I, I want to be with my wife. I'm just afraid what Annabelle is up to. As God may have it, nothing bad may happen to your family. Don't, don't build that fear around yourself, you see? That doesn't mean you don't have to be careful and watchful. That's right. How can Eric and his family be this cruel? How on earth did they think they can render my own daughter useless and go scot-free? Never. 
papa. He brought you that phone. If Eric should leave me, I am finished. Look, put yourself together. Stop crying. I will not allow it to happen. How can they be making such demands? Who is going to reform their dowry to them? A fact that I'm here. Hmm? No one born of a woman can intimidate my own daughter and go scot free. Man. Who is there? Come in. Okay, sir. I won't come. Still not best. Hello. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. So we, my father and I, um, came along as soon as we heard you here. Um, yeah, it's okay. My daughter had told me about the whole issue on ground and also your demand. I'm happy you're here. Um, you should understand that whatever made me to leave my house and come down here must be serious. I am here to tell you that we want to end the marriage. We would like you to refund the dowry. And as an elderly man, I would like you to understand this. Um, my father is right. We are, we are here to retrieve the bride. So the, um, my entire household is a complete disaster right now. This whole thing is, is causing a lot of trouble. Weak. I'm not bad. I'm not bad. It's okay. Uh, hold yourself. It's okay. Eric. I am truly and totally disappointed in what I'm hearing. How can you sleep and wake up with the idea? to end the marriage that have yielded six months pregnancy. It is not as if you had quarrel with your wife. Where is this coming from? No, no, I'm asking you. Where is this coming from? This same woman you are intending to end her relationship with you, is she not the same woman you loved? Um, sir, you're right. I know, um, Annabelle and I didn't have a quarrel. But I'm doing this to save my marriage. And I'm doing this to secure my family. Most especially my first wife. Can you listen to yourself, Eric? Must you do it at the expense of my own daughter's happiness? I remember vividly. Well, when you came to the village to marry my daughter, you were pleading for us to consider you. And you even gave us the promise that you will love my daughter above your own first wife. What is happening now? I want you to understand that it is he who wears the shoe, who is where he brings him. My son would have been a dead man today because of the secret marriage. What? Please, forget about my No, 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 hold it there. Why are you standing this way? I can see you are suffering from the sickness of acromegaly. Hmm? Why do you call it secret marriage? I'm Why? Talking to me like I'm talking to you. No, no. Your son here, Eric, did all that tradition required on the head of my daughter. So Why? How is it done a secret marriage? No, tell me, how is it done a secret marriage? Now leave my house. Are you talking to me like this? Leave my daughter's house. Are you talking to me like this? You get out! I said down from here! You are stupid! Papa, you tell me down! I said you should be talking to me down! It's all right. It's okay. It's okay, I will leave. I will leave. <laughs> now I know that this your father is a madman. But before you yourself leave, let me tell you something. Where on earth has such ever happened? 
Where? Tell me. Look, I will be the last judge, the last fool to refund such dowry. Was my daughter pregnant when she met you? Obviously no. But if you still insist, you and your father, for the refund of dowry, then let your father and you come to the village and see my case, man. Do you understand me? Now you can leave. I say leave. What is it? Why are you crying? Eric, you have frustrated my life. You have taken my happiness away from me. Babe, I'm trying to understand what you mean by I have frustrated your life. I have taken your happiness away from you. What do you mean by that? I'm trying my best. Can't you see it? I'm trying. Annabelle's father is trying to frustrate me, trying to make things difficult, but I'm trying. I've not been quiet. Can't you see that? This is not the marriage you promised me. You promised me a marriage filled with love, not this heartbreak I'm seeing. This is not what you promised me. I do not understand what is going on. I don't know you anymore. I don't understand what's happening to my life. I am frustrated, Eric. I am. Papa, what do we do? I feel so ashamed of myself. My wife is in so much pain. She's completely depressed. I don't know what to do. Son, it is difficult to carry a child without hands. While we were in your car, I was thinking about it. I tried to figure it out, but I couldn't. I couldn't even make a headway. Papa, we have to do something. We have to find a way, please. Because right now, I'm afraid. I don't want to lose my wife. She's going through a lot. She's depressed. My wife's happiness is my responsibility. Papa, we have to do something. It's okay, son. Nobody can force you against your wish. You cannot be compelled because of pregnancy. Thank God you've told her father. I think the best thing to do right now is to stay away from her. Don't pick her cause. Marriage is not by force. <sighs> Papa, I'm totally confused. Like, I'm so ashamed of myself. I don't know what came over me. I, I should have just stayed with my wife. One man, one wife, just the way God made it. I don't know what came over me. I began to think of polygamy. What nonsense is this? Now I've created a whole problem on myself. It's okay, son. Just take it easy. It will be alright. Are you with me?
My daughter, when will these tears ever dry from your eyes? Eh? I've told you that this issue will be sorted out. That's why we are still here. Calm yourself down, please. Mama, my life is frustrated. My husband has frustrated me. My daughter, it's not as if my son is not doing anything concerning this issue. He has been running around to end that nonsense marriage and face you and the kids squarely. Mama, I love my husband so much. I don't want to share with another woman. This whole thing could have been avoided. Now I'm the one suffering it. I can't even sleep at night. I'm always having nightmares, Mama. <sighs> my daughter, nothing will happen to you. My son and my husband will tackle this issue. It's just a matter of time. Time, Mama. Time, you say. When? When I'm dying eternally. I understand, my daughter. I am a woman. I know how you feel. Everything will soon be alright. You know? It's okay. Stop crying. Oh, be calm. Be busy. Now be that. Who is that? Why do you have to? Someone there? Yes, sir. Love them. Oh. Why do you have to? Jesus Christ. Adambel, what are you doing here? Listen, I told you never to come here for any reason. What do you expect I do? I keep on calling, yet you don't pick my calls. You even blocked all my means of reaching you. Listen to me. I don't want any troubles. Do you understand me? I told you before. Listen, it was all a joke, all right? I don't want to have anything to do with you. I told you it's over. Do you understand? Leave here before you cause more troubles for me. Do you call it a joke? Eric. You put me in this condition. I am not going anywhere. Listen to me. If you don't leave here, I'll throw you out. I promise you that. I am not going anywhere. Eric, do your worst! What's happening here? Oh, uh, babe, no, nothing. Uh, uh, I'm just trying to pay oh. for something I bought last week. Your wife. Can you shut up? Please, Ma, can I talk to you, please? Hey, listen, this is my house, okay? I decide what happens here. Leave me, Eric! Let me hear her out. Young woman, come. This way. Sorry for all the troubles I have caused you. I never intended to destroy your home. Eric, your husband, asked me out. He didn't tell me he was married. It was after I was two months pregnant. I persuaded him to see my people. That was when he told me he was married. Eric is so wicked. Eric is so wicked. He wants to frustrate my life. I kicked against the relationship when he told me he had a wife. But he promised he was going to get married to me. I only accepted because I was pregnant. Wait. 
You mean he never told you he was married to me? Yes. Oh my goodness. He never did. If he had told me, I would have gone my way. I even insisted on getting rid of this baby. But he persuaded me. He told me he was going to get married to me. And love me even more than his first wife. <sighs> Eric is haunting me. And I was hot him. <sighs> What did you tell her? What did you tell my wife? Leave me alone. Leave me. Listen, if I see you in this compound again, I'll, I'll deal with you. Babe, what did she tell you? Babe, babe, listen, what did she tell you? Babe, 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 what did she... You never loved me, Eric. You told her you're single so you can have your way with her, but you're married. Is this how much you hate me? Why did you stab me at the back, Eric? What have I done to deserve this from you? Explain what? Explain what? There is nothing to explain. You are evil. You are evil personified. You are wicked. You are heartless. You are a betrayer. That's who you are. You don't deserve me. I made a mistake. Something came over me. As a devil, babe. This is not who I am. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Just go. Just go, please. I'm terribly hurt. Just leave me alone. Get out. Why do you have to? We try to love that we are Why do you have to Let me down like this I know that I love you I love you, I love you And I can live without you What did you tell my wife? Got your call. I told her the truth because I know you've been lying to her and making me look like a devil in front of her. How dare you? How dare you turn my wife against me? You have put up a fire. A burning fire in my house. Annabelle, marriage isn't by force. Stay the hell away from me and my family! Eric, I won't. You are my husband. 
I won't stay away from you. You promised me love. And that love is all I crave for. I won't stay away from you. God, you're gone. According to yourself. Annabelle. You're pushing me to the wall. And trust me. You're not going to like the other side of me. What other side? What other side? I've seen everything. You're not just Atlas, but you're a chronic liar. And you're very wicked. Imagine how you're treating a pregnant woman with so much disdain. If there is any time a woman needs a man, it's now. Eric, why are you pushing me away? Why? Where do you want me to go to? Annabelle, you're talking nonsense. Now, listen to me. Stay away from me and my entire family. I won't warn you again. Eric. Eric. From each other, cause I cannot do this. I'm so hot. Kelvin. I'm beginning to regret my actions. Honestly speaking. So I'm starting to ask myself, is this what people who go into polygamy go through? Because <sighs> this is crazy. Like, This entire situation is becoming disastrous. Wow. Eric. I'm just so happy to hear you say this. I'm glad that you've realized the dangers inherent in polygamous families. Because to me, I can't even think of such thing, let alone, you know, venturing into it. Not my kind of a person. Looking at the situation, it has already gotten out of hands. And the best way out of it all is by employing diplomacy. You need it. You don't have to shout at her. You don't have to engage in exchange of words with her. When she speaks as a woman, you know women can talk. Normally, they can react to things. Don't retaliate. No. Rather, show her care. Give her attention. Change your pattern and style, manner and approach towards her. Give her call. Check up on her. Communicate. Women need that communication. You see. Get to call her. Ask her how far. What do you need? Give her money. Take care of certain things. Before you know it, I am telling you the gospel truth. She will think less of this problem. That is what she needs right now. So I need you to use diplomacy in handling this rather than compounding issues. Wait, wait, listen. Wait, am I not too big for all of these things? Oh, oh, come on, 
come on, Eric. You're, you're about spoiling the beautiful thing you already said. We're not talking about being big here. Yeah, oh, oh, no. We're talking about emotional damage you've already caused this lady. And anyone in her shoes will equally do the same thing, or even much more. Look, I, I'm telling you as a friend, if, if you were not my friend, man, I would join her and even deal with you. Come on, talk to yourself. Look, you're, you're my child. You're big enough to, you know, I don't even mean to. I'm not meant to start telling you this. Just sit back a little thought towards this whole thing. You'll figure it out. She's a human being. Nobody deserves pain. Not her, not you, not myself. And you put her into this whole shit. So just calm down and use diplomacy. And make her feel loved again. And this whole problem itself. You know, I'm telling you. I'll think about it. Honestly, I'm just... Uh... I'm a shadow of myself right now. Sorry, I'll think about it. Think about it. Please do. Please do. Nobody deserves pain. Not I, not you, not me. <sighs> sorry. I have been under a lot of pressure and pressure can make you act stupid sometimes. I sincerely apologize for my actions. I still love you very much. I know it sounds funny, but that's the truth. I've just been under intense pressure and my first wife is killing me. started acting without thinking how much I love you but all of that has changed now but I need you to do me a favor I'm here for you But I need you to act like we don't have anything going on so that I can be at peace with my first wife. Like, just act like nothing is going on between us. Then I can come behind her back to see you and be with you and make love to you like I should. Because I know you know me and you need me. Let's play. 
update the game. Like a hide and seek game. Not exactly. Just I need you to understand me. I need you to play alongside me. I need you to cooperate with me. And we're going to be fine. I just need you to act. Like you don't see me. I don't see you. You don't have anything going on. And trust me, I'll come every day to be with you and make love to you. Because I know you miss me. And I miss you too. Thank you. Yeah. I am happy you have finally decided to give this a chance. Right. That's the most important thing right now. Yeah. It's very important to have peace. And thank you for understanding me. I am set to play an inside So your wife doesn't get to find out that we're still together. You know I love you so much. I love you too. I've missed you. I miss you now. How's the baby? It's fine. Let's go to the Very tasty. Mm. Mm. Maybe you were so sweet. Can I have some more? Mm -hmm. After my food. <laughs> mm. Mm. Very tasty. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Spicy. Mm. Cook so good. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Baby, you cook so good. <coughs> than to send you to your early grave. Let me see how you make another woman happy while I am sad. You think you are smart? 
you wanted to use diplomacy on me. And I pretended and played along. So I can have you in my pants. And I succeeded. Eric, you deserve to die! <laughs> 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 Why are you sounding like this now? Okay. Please come and die. Hey! Wait, 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 why? Yeah. I'm at other world's place. Wait, wait, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. rushed into the emergency world and the nurses never allowed me access to that place and I'm sure they will not allow you access also. Jesus. Oh my goodness. Hi. Doctor, how is my husband? I hope nothing bad has happened to him. I hope he's fine. Oh my God, I'm calm down. Your husband is responding to treatment. And I thank God that he was brought here on time. At least it's prevented the gastrointestinal tract not to be badly affected. And moreover, I have administered an antidote to stop the action of the poison. I will follow it up with um, kidney function test, liver biopsy, and uh, electroencephalography investigation to ascertain if the kidney, the liver, or the, um, the brain is actually affected. Um, 
currently there is no health um, complex issue. You know, there is no health complex issue and uh, your husband is responding to treatment. Thank God. Thank God. Doctor. Thank God. Doctor, please, can we at least get to see him? Certainly. Mm. It's not possible for now. Mm. He's actually unconscious and um, he's been attended to at the emergency unit. So I would suggest you come back tomorrow to see your husband. Conscious? Doctor, I hope my husband is fine. I hope nothing serious has happened to him, doctor. Just tell me. Um, Wait. Like I said before, your husband is responding to treatment. If not, I would have referred him for a specialized medical treatment. Calm down, madam. See you. Why is this happening to my husband? Why? 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 We try to love that we are. Why do you have to let me down like this? I know that I love you. Hi, it's my son. Hi, Eric. Is he okay? He's responding to treatment. What actually happened to him? Mama Nabel poisoned him. How? Oh. He had to call his best friend Kevin, who came in and met him in his own pool of blood. Kevin had to rush him to the hospital. Oh my God! How could it have gone to his enemy's place to eat? I don't eh? know. Mama, I don't know what is wrong with this boy. I pray he gets better. But <laughs> why, Eric? Why? Hey, Selena, my daughter, you have to take us to the hospital. I want to see my son. I want to make sure my son is okay. Mama, we cannot go <laughs> to the hospital. Doctor said we cannot see him till tomorrow. I, I hope nothing happens to my son. Uh, Do crazy things. Got your goal according to your sign. Got your goal. Have you seen? Have you seen my husband? Look at how he's lying unconscious. How can I never do this to my son? Why? Mama, put yourself in another place. The doctor said we shouldn't make noise here because that could affect him the more. Nobody will do this to my son and go scot free. No, it's marriage by force. I don't want to marry you again. Will you warrant my son being poisoned? No, I will not take it. Papa, this whole thing beats my imagination. Hmm. The truth is that Eric didn't do well. Let's just call it spade a spade. He didn't do well. Look at what he has put himself into. She must have drugged my son and forced him to eat the food. So I start Chiva in. No, that girl must be apprehended. I will suffer the girl and her family. I will not take it. How do you apprehend her? Who commit this kind of a crime and still stay back to be caught? Kevin Liston. She can run, but she cannot hide. Wherever she is, I must make sure she's been fished out. I will deal with her and the whole family. No, my son cannot be like this and she will be a She'll be free. I will not take that. <sighs> Sorry, son. Sorry. Selena, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <sighs>
Why do you have to Betray the love that we are Yes, baby. Are you here? Hold my hand. I'm sorry. I apologize for my mistakes. I have wronged you. I have done you bad. Never to hurt you again. Baby, I have forgiven you. That is why I'm still here. Okay? Is out. Mm. Mm. It's getting better. He woke up not so long and mm. said some few things and slept back. I'm sure he'll be alright. Selena, you yes. won't believe what I saw. What? Annabelle, Eric's second wife, is dead. Selena, are you joking? I am not joking. And it's not as if someone told me. I saw her lifeless body on the ground. Mm. I was told she was hit by a cat. And I had to record it. Hey, Mama. Chimo. Mama, is it true too? Hmm? Annabelle is actually dead. See? Hey! Thank God. My daughter, you have seen it. I couldn't believe my eyes. God has vindicated my son. How? Selena, Selena, come and call the doctor. Oh, the doctor! Come on, call the doctor. Come on. Guy. No, don't worry. Guy, are you okay? Kelvin, I should be the one thanking you for coming through for me. If you hadn't responded to my call, 
I probably would have been dead by now. <laughs> God won't let that happen. Kevin, you are such a true friend. Thank you for saving my husband. Kevin, my son. Mama. I don't know what to say. I appreciate God for you. Honestly, you have proved yourself that you are a friend indeed. Thank you so much. And my kindness does not cost a thing. To me, you know, it actually means nothing. What are friends for, you know? <laughs> Kevin, my son, thank you very much. You show that a friend indeed is better than a brother. I'm so happy. God bless you, eh? Thank you, my you too, Papa. Babe. Um, I don't know where to start from, but I'm very excited everyone is here. So, I'm going to apologize before my parents and my friend. I'm sorry for everything. I apologize for my stupidity. I'm sorry for causing you pain. I'm sorry for all I have put you through. Please, forgive me. I know I've been stupid. I have been heartless. I have been ignorant of what love is. However, please, I'm sorry. I've learned my lessons. I've realized my mistakes. And from the bottom of my heart, please forgive me. And I promise you that as long as I leave, it's going to be you and I, one man, one wife. Eric, I love you so much. I forgive you. Please, don't cheat on me again. I promise you I won't. Like I said, I've realized my mistakes, I've learned my lessons, and I'll never do that again. It is going to be you and I forever, one man, one wife. There are many other bears out there. Don't fall prey to any of them. I want to promise you. She was hit by a car. Um, young man, I will advise you to be quiet. Because anything you say or do here will be used against you in the court of law. No, you can't do that. I'm innocent. I mean that my son is innocent. Listen, no. I'm innocent. You can't do yes. that. Yes, officer, he's innocent. It was even another bed that poisoned his food. Mr. Man, keep quiet. Keep quiet, Mr. So, man. Do you know who I am? You walked into my house to get me arrested for what? Oh. You are now teaching me my own. Do you, do you know I can get my own? Officer, what is, what is your problem? What is your problem? Don't shout at my wife like that. Don't shout at my wife like that. What do you mean? Wait, you people are taking too much. I'm taking this man out. My son did not commit any crime. Listen, listen to me. Come down, Morgan. No, 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 no. I have a lawyer. I am 
know this man. I need to call my lawyer. My friend, she's not this man. I need to call my lawyer. Is she in the car? What do you mean? Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to to me. Listen 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 to me. to to Listen, we are not going to kill him. Okay. Police is your friend. Yes. So you have to come to the station and explain to us what happened. But for now, we must go with him. Officer, you said it all. It's okay. Let's go. Let's go. Officer, officer. Stop this. Yes, officer, officer. Man, get, get, get out from here. I should get out. Yes, it's that's okay. what I said. You know, I'm coming to here. that station. I will come to that station. Listen to me. Happen. You can only say what you My want. Friend, go, go. You can only vote for yourself. Your son killed my own daughter out of his own selfishness. So I don't want to hear anything from you again. My friend, don't say no. Yeah. William, it's okay. Let me go. Hey, Mama! Mama! Don't do this for the day. He did not say this for the day. What kind of lawyer is okay? It's okay. It's okay. Hi, sir. Mama, Mama, you take it off. Let me open up to you right now. You murdered a woman called Mrs. Annabelle. According to our investigation, we saw blood stains all over Annabelle's room. And from the reports, we understand that she's your wife, which you don't want her in your life anymore. Then, you now dump her dead body by the roadside. So that nothing we cannot in any way assume that someone like you can do that. So tell me, why on earth must you kill your wife? Officer, do you understand what you're doing? You're shouting. If you are talking, calm down. This is police station. The person in question poisoned me. And I was rushed to the hospital. And you're standing in front of me, accusing me wrongly? Do you have evidence of the poison? Sir, do you know what you're doing? You're accusing me wrongly. Do you know that false accusation is a punishable offense under the Nigerian Criminal Code? I can press charges on you. Are you teaching me my job? I ask you a question. Are you trying to teach me my job? How can I kill someone who didn't do anything to me? Is that possible? Officer, he wanted my daughter out of the way at all costs. This he judge murdered my own daughter. Not only that, drop her in a remote area where no eye can see her. A woman who is six months pregnant from him. Is this not a, a wickedness in the high places? Jesus Christ. What the hell are you talking about? I am innocent for God's sake! Oga, okay, leave God out of this! Oga, okay, this guy is not a criminal. And he's not ready to accept his missus. Oka, looking at your face, you're a killer. You're yes. making noise. You can see that I'm calm. Yeah. An empty vessel makes the loudest noise. Pull this man off, taking his eyes out. Sir, sir, yes. sir, excuse me, I am innocent. I don't know about it. Do you know no, I am innocent? You are not ready to tell no, the truth. Let's go. By next week, we are taking you to court. I need to see my lawyer. You are not ready to tell the truth. Uh, let's go, let's no, go. No, I need to talk to my lawyer. Your lawyer will come. We are going to. This is false accusation and it is a punishable offense on that his man. Officer, let him sign first. Okay, let him sign. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's go, let's go. Sign, sign, sign. Sign, I will slap you. Sign this thing. Okay, let's go, let's go. Sign this thing. I need to get something right. Is this what?
What you do? I will fuck you. Is this how you compel innocent people to sign in? You love this thing, right? Oh yeah, sign, 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 sign. Sign, let's go. That's fine. Oh yeah. I'll sign. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Look at your face. Killer. Are you sure? Come and move this man. Come and move this man. Move this man. Him this is complete oh, madness. Hey, hey, I am innocent. Your shoe, your shoe. Hey, this is a police your shoe. Move your shoe. Oh, yeah, move your shoe. Oh, yeah, move your shoe. False accusation is a level of offense under the Nigerian Criminal Code. Do you know that? Oh, God, move your shirt. Let's go. This you is killed your wife. No problem. Look your at your face. Shirt. You have an innocent face, but I, I have seen your time oh, several times. I am innocent. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And it will be proven in court. I need to talk to my lawyer. Let's go. Which kind of thing is this? Where do we care that you human being? Where's my husband? I just saw you take him to the cell. Bring him out. He's innocent. Who are you? Don't ask me a question. Where's my husband? What has he done? He has done nothing. Bring him out, please. Who are you? Bring my husband. Are you are you not scared? What is wrong with you? Where's my husband? I will tell you now. She knows what she's doing. They killed my own daughter for their selfish interest. Don't worry, I'll see to that. It's all right. I trust you, officer. I trust you. Yes. Oh, yeah, come in, come in. What is that? Uh, what is that? Uh, uh, uh? Tell me what is that? Uh, uh, uh? Listen, look at this man. You stop making noise. Listen, look at what are you doing? Tell the police to release my son. What has he done that you make police lock him up? Your daughter died in an in accident. Huh? Chapma, you don't know what you are saying. Look at her blood littered here. Just take a good look at it. Eh? She died by accident. You said it. How can you convince me, eh, me and Doka, that a vehicle entered here to kill her inside this very room? Eh? In fact, let me tell you, your son is not telling the truth. And I must deal with him. Ichi, you, you will not deal with him. I am a witness to this thing. Okay. If I'm not alive, I would have allowed you to go on with this kind of false accusation. Look, okay. this blood your sister says is dried up. If not, we would have run a test and proved to you that Eric did not kill your daughter. Rather, he was poisoned by your daughter and he almost died in the pool of his own blood. Look at this one who is just talking as if it's reading news. Oh, please. And you listen, you listen to me. Anyway, let me come for you. Let me come for you based on the same feather. Look, I can never fall for such cheap lies. I can never. Eric is a murderer, a hardened criminal that must be made to face the law. Ndoka, do you think I'm joking? Tell the police to release my son. You think I'm joking? This man. I'm telling you. Talk to the police. Okay. Tell them to do it. No, 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 no. You have to stop. No, I will hook to the stop. You have to hook to the police. Shut up. Stop you. 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 Madam, do you know you are just a troublemaker? You better live here with your trouble before DPO comes out now and meets you here. I am not leaving this place until you release my husband to me. I'm not going anywhere. Is it innocent? What is it? Real troublemaker. Why the noise? Why the noise? What's going on? Is this woman still here? Yes, it's you. Just to go. Are you under detention? Come, Mr. Man. Sorry, no one detained her. She detained herself. I will not leave this place until they release Eric to me. My husband did not kill anybody. How can evil prevail over truth? Ah, but listen to me, Biko. It's innocent. Um, young woman, we cannot release that man. That man is heartless to have killed a pregnant woman. We can release him. I beg your pardon, officer. Officer, my friend is not the killer. Neither is he a murderer. He never committed the said crime. The woman in question was knocked down by a car. Have you done your investigations well? I heard you said 
is your friend. Oh, yes! That man there is your friend. Oh, I'm not surprised. Because you can actually frame or forge anything to a reason. This thing you just said now, do you have evidence? God damn it. I am not here to frame up anything. I'm telling you that I have the evidence. I was right there at the spot. Huh? Please, can you just have a look? I have seen it. But this thing here looks state managed. Now, let me ask you. Where is the car that knocked her down? Officer, I'm not supposed to Maybe start teaching you your job. Where is the driver? So you were expecting the killer to remain there? Were you expecting the driver to remain at that same spot without finding his way out? Officer, why are you not touched by what I'm showing you? Can't you critically examine this evidence I have right here before you? Uh, I see, I see. Do you know that this video he shows me now? Simply means you're a suspect. Do you also know that I can detain you right now? How? For you to explain this video. How? Why? You don't know. Good. I will advise you. I'm going to you. But if you don't want to, make your choice. Selena, please, can we leave here now? These people are up to something. Let me just leave here. I will not leave until they release my husband. That man is not feeling well. He was just discharged from the hospital. If that man dies, you will have to kill me, oh! You will have to kill me! As a young woman, if you are waiting for your husband to be released, you wait till next week. It's only court that can do that. That means you have to be here. Constable, sir, if this man is still here in the next five minutes, detain him. Yes, sir. Alele, move. Selena, can we just leave here now? These people are terrible. Come on, leave here. Oh, yeah. What? What? I told you, this woman is a real troublemaker. Exactly. She what is. woman? She is. Uh, Miss David, I thought by now you should have helped yourself by telling us this truth. Then letting yourself pass through this place. Can you tell me the truth right now? Sir, I swear on my life, I have nothing to do with this. I am innocent. You think I'm talking here? Wait, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. 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 I'm sorry. They're beating my husband. Tell me to stop beating him now. You have not done anything. Why are you beating him? Wait, wait. This man, you are very stubborn. I'm innocent, sir. The person in question poisoned me. And I was rushed to the hospital. Please. There is no type of people who are not seen. But your own, eh? I have not seen this type of person before. Despite the pains you are passing through, yet you still refuse to say the truth. Now let me ask you. Yes, sir. Where were you? As at 4 p.m. on Wednesday. I was at Annabelle's house. Good. Then the same Annabelle that you said that poisoned you, yeah. her dead body was found the next morning. So, how can we... This thing is, you actually planned the thing and they killed her. Oh. Delivered her dead body there. Now pretend that you ate poison. Do I know? Hey, you said the truth, this man. Don't look like a stupid person. What is wrong with you? No, this guy, can you mind You frame up, say that she poisoned you. No, sir. Come on. Yes, sir. Sir. So, Sabi, handle your time. Wait, make me sure you want to say the truth. Sir. I swear I have nothing to do with this. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Please. Can you the which kind of woman be now? 
You are innocent. Okay. <clears throat> Let me tell you a story. Hmm? There was one hiding criminal they brought here in this station. That man, he refused to say the truth. Do you know what I did? I bite off one of his ears. When he saw his ear on the ground, he then decided to say the truth. If you go to prison yard, if you have time to go to prison yard, if you see that hiding criminal, one of his ears was beaten off by me. So I don't know if you like your ears. Sir. Do you still want to have two ears? Yes, sir. You love your ears? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you tell me the truth? Yes, sir. I'm telling the truth. Okay, you're saying the truth. Yes. I'm innocent. Okay. But do you know that if I buy that one of your ear now and you're seeing it on the ground, so you say the truth. I'm sorry. You I'm don't know. Brother. Or do you know? I'm sorry, please, sir. Please, sir. I'm innocent. Okay, you're innocent. Yes. Wow. Look at this man. Yes, sir. Just look at this man. Ah! Tell him to stop beating him. I have not done anything to you. Madam! Why are you trying to create a scene here? Why are you shouting and disturbing the whole station? Did you stop it him? I don't kill him or he's not feeling too well. Eric! 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 Stand up! Eric, wait. I said I will bite your ear. I have not bite your ear. Unconscious at the hospital when the incident happened. What do we call this? Huh? Oh. I don't. I don't believe. Hey, Selina, my daughter. You are crying. Huh? What happened? Huh? You are crying. You are crying. My dear, what happened? Tell me. What did the police say? What happened, my daughter? Mama, eh? the DPO instructed they push me out of the police station. They push you out? Worst thing is, they have been beating my husband. I don't even know if he's still alive or not. What must happen to my son? What do we call this one now? Eh? Someone that his hands are clean. Eh? Why would you beat him up? Mim, uh, stop crying. Nothing will happen to your husband, though. He's alive. Yes. Nothing will happen to him. Stop crying. Stop, stop. Eh? Calm down. 
I strongly believe that he is still alive. Hmm? Stop crying. <laughs> My son that was just discharged from the hospital. I don't know why they're doing this to him. Nothing will happen to him. Why? Nothing. Why? Nothing will happen to him. Stop crying, bro. I strongly believe that he is still alive. He's alive. Nothing will happen to your husband. Stop crying. your tears. Stop. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, you are the mother of that murderer. Sir, my son is not a murderer. I see. Anyway, um, at this moment you can't see him. Why? Okay, why? Because he's an order from our superior. Sir, I want to see him and give him food. Or will you people stop me from doing that? Wait, don't you understand English? I said he's an order from our superior that you can't see him at the moment. Come. Oh. I hope you people have not killed my son. No, madam. We didn't kill your son. Your son is safe. Tell me you have killed my son. My son is dead. Why are you people doing this to me? But oh. do, you, do, you, do you understand the meaning of order? It's an order from our superior that you can't see him at the moment. Wait. Because the other one. woman. Be careful with her. Because the other one. Let me see my yes, son. Madam, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the Because the other one. Because the other one. Hey! Papa. Considering how this policeman are handling this matter. I'm not seeing them releasing him anytime soon to us. With the level of allegation they put on him, I suggest we involve lawyers into this case. It's it has gotten out of hand. Kevin, you are making a point. How do we get one? Can we? <laughs> yes, yes, of course. Okay. They did not allow me to see my son. Why? Or even give him food. I don't know what the crime my, my son committed. That we, they will not allow me to see him. Let alone giving him food. I'm sure they must have killed my son now. Hey. I'm sure that they must have killed my you son. They don't want. They no, mama. Mama, it's easy. It's easy. Mama, Jesus. Mama, get to Mama, get to Mama, get Your husband, eh? They didn't get it right this time. 
and I will make sure that I see to the end of it. How can they kill an innocent man? It's not done anywhere. Stop. Oh, stop Mama, I told these people that my husband was sick. Yet they still went ahead to torture him to death. Mama, is this no wickedness? Oh, is this no wickedness, yeah, Mama? It's wickedness, really, but please. Hey, An innocent help. man that did not kill anybody. Pull yourself together. Just They've killed my. Stop, stop, bro. Oh. I'm sorry I disappointed you. I'm deeply sorry I left you without a comforter. I'm sorry I had to let our marriage suffer because of my mistakes. But I promise you, in my next life, I'll never do it again. Because I love you, and I'll always love you. I understand. But we have suffered a lot. Get up. I know you're sorry for your mistakes. I have decided to forgive you because I have realized I cannot live without you. I love you so much. If truly you are dead, I'll follow you because my life is meaningless without you. I can't live without you. I promise never to hurt you again. Tomorrow with your lawyer. You are an evil man. Thank you. It will 
will not be well with you for, for subjecting my husband into the serious torture. It will not be well with you. Back to sender. Evil man! Story for the ghost. <laughs> Officer, good day. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah. I hope the court will stay set tomorrow because uh, my lawyer and I are well prepared. Yes, the court will sit tomorrow by then. So you need to come very early before the chief judge comes. It's all right. I have to be on my own. Ichi, you're a wicked man. God will punish you. Tomorrow my husband will be vindicated. Don't worry. Wicked evil man. <laughs> Your plans have failed. You will not succeed. Don't worry. <laughs> Listen. Your husband must go to jail come tomorrow morning. No matter your blah, 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 blah. He cannot change anything. Officer. All right. Is this no wickedness? See blood all over my husband's body. Why would you people torture him like that? When he's innocent? Is this no wickedness? But I didn't realize you're in the station. I don't care! I don't care! Just let him go! Free him! If he continues shouting like this, then I will detain you. What is your problem? Jesus, your children have, have come before you, oh God. Father, I know there is nothing that God you cannot do. In any way we have sinned against you, Father, have mercy upon our souls and forgive us our sins. We commit their father, my husband, Eric, unto your able hands. Father, let my husband be vindicated in the name of Jesus. Father, God, arrest the hearts of the police people, the DPO, EJ Duka. Arrest their hearts, oh Father. Let my husband be set free in the name of Jesus. Father, King of Glory, in Matthew 18, 18, say, whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever we lose on earth is loosed in heaven. We decree, oh God, that my husband be set free in the name of Jesus. Every plan of the enemies against his life will come against him by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let my husband be set free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let every yoke in his life be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, let your angels enter into the cell and let my husband be released in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every chain they have used in locking my husband, every cloth of shame and disgrace will tear you apart in the name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Show me where you document this. You are confused. It's here, sir. It's here. Show me. You are turning paper like you don't know what you are doing again. Yeah? I'll get it. It's here. Anyway, I don't have your time now. Go and bring that uh, murderer. It's time to go to court. All right, sir. Do fast. Do fast. Oh, man. What is wrong with you? Why are you here? You should go to court. We are coming. No, 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 I want to go with my husband. I must go with him, I'll wait here. You want to go with your husband? Yes. Officer, we want to go alongside with you people now. Or do you want to lock us up? Why are now put all of us in the cell? Why are you behaving like a wild animal? Eh? <clears throat> Show the mother be fine. Please bring my husband, let's go to the courts. I won't go without him. Oh. Hey, now. Ah. What can I do for you? Why are you here? Oh, are you with them? Um, I, I am here to make an entry. You see, officer, my, my car accidentally killed someone. And I was afraid for my life, so I zoomed off. But ever since I have known no peace, my conscience keep pricking me, keep blaming me. So that's why I came here to make an entry. You mean you hit someone with your car? And the person is dead. Accidentally. This is how it all happened.
So when I alighted from my car and realized that was a pregnant woman, I was afraid that I might be beaten to death by some angry mob. So that was why I ran away. But the thought of killing a pregnant woman with an unborn child with heavily on my conscience. I, I couldn't bear it anymore. That's why I came to to lay my complaint and report myself. What? What? So you were the one that killed her? It was an accident. It was an accident. Okay. You see this person? Yes, yes. <laughs> That's her. How did you get this video? Because of you, my best friend have been locked up in the cell for days now. Hey, God. Okay. For an accident. My husband has been vindicated. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. So the last accident. I didn't mean to kill her. So the last accident. I won. So the last accident. I. This work. This work. So the last accident. I. This work. I didn't mean to kill her. So the last accident. I. I didn't. So the last accident. What is happening? What's the time now? What are you still waiting? Eh? What are you still waiting for? Let us go to court. Don't kill you there. Don't kill you there. That's stupid. What's your problem? Are you insane? Are you out of your senses? Officer, what is it now? Say something. Okay. You want to put problems on my head? I don't understand. I don't you understand. You came here. You came here with false allegations. What do you mean? Somebody killed my own daughter. Oh, that and you are saying this. Oh, that calm down. There is a situation here. I don't care about the situation. What I know is that let us go to court. What kind of situation are you talking about? Let me explain this to you. It's your one. No, no, this is a frame story. I don't believe this. This is a cooked story. Don't tell me this. See, if not for one thing now, eh, I will be. You detain me. For what? Did you know what you cost us? You came here with false allegation. I'm telling you, you are still shouting. Is it true that you killed my own daughter? It was an accident. I, I didn't mean to kill us. What do you mean by accident? 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 What do this man is in Australia. Eric. Um, uh, um, Eric. There is a situation here now. We can't go to that country. Yeah? Uh, we need to inform the people about the current development. Hope he's telling us. Yes, sir. Okay. This man, I'm not happy with you. You came here with false allegation. Okay. You are in Australia. You need to talk. You have a right to talk about. You understand? I can force this into my life. You understand? Why do you have to? Luchi. Jacoma. Sir, please, can you just leave the court premises and report to the police station now? No, 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 no. Everything is fine. Just right now, a situation came up. Yes, sir. In fact, somebody just confessed that he killed Annabelle. I'm telling you the gospel truth. We are all at DPO's office right now discussing it. Please, can you just call me right immediately? All right. All right, all right. Be, be quick. All right, sir. According to your sign, but what it means right now that we will be apart from each other because I cannot do this. I'm so hard. You promise no secret. You promise no other love. 
Eric, tell me now What are you doing to me? I'm going deep in sorrow why do wow. men have to cheat? Why do you have to do this? Why do you have to do this? Crazy thing. Come on. Come on. The Lord has gone into the game. Come on. 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 I remember my promises. Yeah. Sorry. 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 Oh. Why does men ask to cheat? I don't know. I don't know. It's not the perfect thing. Don't do it. Don't do it. You promise to love someone. You get married to her someday. Yeah. Now you're looking for another person. You try. Got your call. I got it. Why do you have to? We try to love that we are Why do you have to? Why do you have to?